you are a elder in church but every time there is a quarry on your street you are the one causing it you say no it's not me pastor b you don't know this street that boy is a stupid boy but anger is not of the lord that brings dishonor gossiping is not from the lord say come 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 come, come. i just want to tell you because we are telling redeemed together you see that movement i i met her in one hotel with one man and you are a christian dishonor to the name of the lord some people are stealing their husband's money. They say she beats my husband. Where did the Bible ask you to do that? Dishonor. We take the Bible and interpret it the way to suit us. We go to churches where the pastors preach what interests you and motivate you. Any pastor that tells you this truth, you say that's not what we are talking about. It's messy that will save everybody. Yes, but God is not dumb. If he says before you can assess this messy throne, these are things you have to do. Piety is synonymous to allegiance, synonymous to devotion, synonymous to fidelity, and also loyalty. You don't know who's going to be happy if he hears that his husband is sleeping with like four different kinds of chicks. Uh, what do they call them? Side chicks. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you going to be happy? Let's just say you heard that your wife is sleeping with one person. How happy will you be? So as human beings, we love loyalty. We enjoy fidelity. That's what we want. You see, in the olden days, you cannot get married to a lady who's not a virgin. But because every the devil wants to destroy us, so you can't even raise up your hand and say you're a virgin nowadays. Even if you're a virgin, you're now shy. The devil had watered down everything to that level. So now the new virginity is a girl who has slept with under five men. That's what they call the new virginity now. And people will even celebrate a lady who only slept with less than five people. Because an average lady has gone to 20. And he's still 22. Hallelujah. Yeah. And nobody's saying anything. The God that made everything where it is, is angry. But they go to church. Everybody goes to church now. Because we have clothes we have to show off. It's like going to AMVCA awards. Yes, my new I must wear. My new shoe must be shown. This new phone that I just bought must come. I must also do worship power. Because now it's no longer about the real deal. It's about showcasing what we are. We are. The best place to get chicks now is church. The best place to get men now is church. Rich men. They come to church in their guineas ironed and their bald heads. And then they come in. You can tell who is rich and who is poor. And then you quickly go and sit in the eye. Good morning, sir. Because you know it will carry you when you are going home in his jeep. Then you start talking right in church. Everything is there. Everybody knows. The pa your pastor knows, but he can't talk. Me, I can talk. Because I know my member. Hallelujah. Dishonor to the Almighty. If you want to serve devil, let's cook who know an open church of devil. We cook who know we are crazy here. Why would anybody hide under the kingdom? To hide and dishonor God. Some pastors are worse than Babalawo. Habalists. But they will still put church of God there. Dishonor. God is not saying anything, but he's reacting and he's angry. We know he won't destroy you today, but the day's destruction will come. Ah, who will you run to? And that's why you need piety. Reference. I'm not saying don't behave your behavior. Don't do it on God's name. Because that is it. He said you need to make this extinct. It should never happen again. I saw it on Twitter one day. A lady, the mother was the one that caught the lady. Apparently, he thought the mother had gone to shop. So, the mother came back. The lady brought a guy into the house and they were sleeping with themselves there. So, the mother was hearing the bru -bru noise and felt maybe it was an intruder, like arm robber or something. So, she took stick and walked gently to the back of the place and then heard the daughter who was saying, Oh, Jesus, uh, something like you are praying, speaking in tongue. Why she was sleeping with a guy? What kind of insult is that? You are so spiritual. That you are sleeping with a guy in your mother's house as a single girl and you are speaking in tongue in the process and then that kind of person will marry and they say he does not have a child and then they start going to mountains and look don't use your hand to destroy everything by yourself if you want to do your adultery do it and shut up your mouth we know you are spiritual the church you go to is to speak in tongue but careful care care careful hallelujah because you serve a god that has grace in him doesn't mean he doesn't react just check out things yourself apparently we don't read the bible so we don't know what it is but god usually reacts i want you to pray 
ability to remain oh, loyal Lord, to my declaration to, to Jesus. Loyal, Let it come into me. In the name of Jesus. The ability, the ability to remain loyal, loyal to the calling. Lord, Let it come into me. In the name of Jesus. Ability to remain loyal and obey. Let it come to me. Ability to remain loyal to the yoke of Christ that I'm carrying. Let it come to me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mightiest name we are praying. I decree the lack of piety to go to permanent extinction. Let the lack of piety, let it go to permanent extinction. In the name of Jesus. Let lack of piety, let it go to permanent extinction in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mightiest name we are praying. I receive power to be devoted to my calling. I receive power to be devoted to my service to God. In the name of Jesus. Power to be devoted. I receive this money. Power to be devoted. I receive this money. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mightiest name we are praying. Amen.